Welcome back to another Bisect Hosting server tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a MySQL database on your Bisect Hosting server and also show you how you can use this on a plugin that might require an SQL database. We'll go ahead and jump right into the tutorial today. The first thing you're going to need to do is obviously log into your Bisect Hosting control panel. And then right now I am on the home page, but for our example, we're going to go down here where it says my SQL database. After selecting that, if you don't have one already, it's going to say there's currently no databases associated with this server. But to create one, it's super simple. All you have to do is click that Create Database button in the top left corner, and then select OK to what prompts. And then there you go. Now you have an SQL database that you can now use for your plugins to store information. This contains a host name, the database name and username, uh, most importantly the password, and of course the administration link if you want to access those tables that the MySQL saves to. Now for plugins, all you have to do is copy and paste that information into a plugin. So I'll go ahead and show you how you can do that now. I'm going to go over into my file manager and then go over into plugins. For today's example, I'll be using Corporatech to give you a little example on how you can set that up. Corporatech saves a lot of information, so it's best that you do save to a MySQL database. To do that, I'm just going to click on the configuration file for that plugin. So on this one, it says Corporatech. And then right here already, you can see the config.yml folder. Of course, the steps for this is going to be different for every plugin that you use. You can check the documentation for each plugin on exactly where it is in the configuration that will save to a MySQL database. And a lot of times, there's not actually the ability to save to a MySQL database for a lot of plugins. In this case, it works. So the first thing you'll notice is the MySQL host the MySQL port, database, username, and password. All you have to do is copy and paste that information over into the tables here. And then once you're done, just go ahead and click the save and close button in the bottom right corner, and then simply reload the plugin, or in most cases, restart your server. After the server has been completely restarted, the plugin will now be saving data to the MySQL database. That wraps up today's tutorial. If you have any questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to contact us in our support tickets, or you can view our complete knowledge base at bisecthosting.com kb. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing, and comment down below what you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching.